Hey YouTube, here we have the Optiplex 9020 SFF again and we're going to finish uh, revamping it. So if you remember from last time, I put in a, an SSD and an HDD, I modified the power cables in order to uh, have those inside the system. So today we're going to be uh, replacing the thermal compound on it and uh, you would basically take these same steps to upgrade the processor in it. So this one has an, a Core i7 in it. It's it's a quad core, eight thread CPU, and uh, it's a good one. It has some old thermal compound out there, and we're gonna be replacing it with this Arctic Silver Five high density thermal compound. So it's a it's a really good one. I, I always use it, and for that, uh, in order to remove it, we're gonna be using this uh, Arctic Clean thermal material remover number one that one's gonna remove the thermal compound that's already on there and then we will use this uh, surface purifier which is basically like alcohol so clean uh, sorry remove the the material with this one and then use this one to finish off and clean it and then uh, we'll be using you can use a credit card or something this is just a, a access card from a hotel and I'm gonna be using this to spread the CPU, uh, the, the thermal compound, and then you would just need a Phillips head screwdriver and some napkins. Okay, let's open this guy up. So place it on the side, undo the latch, and bring the, ah, there we go, the side cover up. Okay, this is going to be much better if I put it on this side. And if you remember from last time, I had some SATA cables up here that were too big. I replaced those. So let's start making room. Uh, the more room you have, the better. So let's remove the DVD drive. That, remove the SATA cable, and then the power cable. bring this guy up and out so unlock it from there and bring it up there you go your DVD drive just put it on the side now this guy's a little bit more involved you have to remove SATA and power from the SSD and then SATA again and power from the hard drive then you have this latch which has a lock unlock slide it to the left unlocks Bring it up and out. There you go. There you can see from the the other uh, last time's modification, the SSD is on the top and the hard drive is on the bottom. And haven't had any problems with that, so that's good. And uh, we're gonna need as much space as possible, so might as well take the RAM out, just right here. So unlatch these two white clips on the side of the RAM. Pops out. Mm, some Samsung RAM. DDR3, normal. So unlock this one too. Bring it out. All right. So let's make more space. Let's unhook this. And depending on your system, how new it is, this one wasn't that that new. Uh, you're gonna have the screw on here, keeping the uh, the graphics card in place. So for that, I'm just gonna come over here to this hook, push it down and back, and bring the graphics card up. There you go. You see, that hook was grabbing this little PCB part. So the graphics card that's in there, it's a, it's a nice, nice little one. So now, let's go to the CPU. So here we see that it has a shroud. It's kind of just pushing air inside the heat sink and out through the back of the system here. So. This, at first, might seem that it's difficult to remove. Uh, you don't see any screws except these, but all you have to do is put your thumb in here, put your other finger in here, pull out, and up. And it comes out like nothing. So now, we have a normal looking motherboard and CPU. Here we have the four screws. One, two, three, four. Don't remove these other 
four small ones because uh, you just end up removing the fan from the heatsink without actually removing the heatsink from the CPU. Sorry, from the motherboard. So let's unscrew these guys out. Oh, forgot. Uh, let's let's look for the fan cable, which is over here. And let's disconnect that. See that right there, all the way in the back. So the pin is right there. Uh, let's disconnect that. There we go. And let's not forget to reconnect that when we're done with this. Because uh, if you don't, you your computer will probably not turn on. So screwing the third one. And Adele likes, likes to use uh, cheap thermal compounds, just wax based. I don't like it. Cracks up. You see? See the amount of coverage it had? It was almost none. It's not, it's not a good coverage. I mean, your CPU will overheat like that eventually. Here, you see? It's all crumbly. I, I touch it, it doesn't get doesn't get stuck to my finger. This is this my finger is already dirty, so <laughs> alright. So let's put this guy over here. Let's make some space. There we go. So we're gonna start out with the thermal compound remover. I'm gonna put a few drops. I like to do five, one in the middle, and then four on the outside. Let it sit for a while. This smells like like citrus good so same thing over here on the on the CPU just kind of one in the middle see that spreading around and then just one in each corner and then I just let it sit for mm -hmm. for a couple of uh, seconds just so that the uh, uh, the liquid goes into the the compound and starts removing it so let's wait on that for couple of seconds, a couple of minutes, sorry, and uh, we'll be back. So this is the point where I start cleaning. You see that uh, the compound remover already looks milky. Point at this one, you see you see that? That's This is when it's good to start cleaning. So kind of just get your napkin and clean it off, Let's see? And it's not just a single pass that you have to do, it's multiple, so We'll clean it off, this first part, and then put some more thermal compound remover to just kind of get rid of whatever residue is there. So see that, already coming off. So this one's almost clean, just uh, one more application and it'll be good to go. So I'll just kind of leave, leave that there. And now. CPU, same thing, just kind of wipe it off. This one's much easier to clean. It's a, let's say, more uh, flat surface. Doesn't have that, that many ridges as the heat sink. Let's just kind of remove that from there. Let's see how easy it takes off. And you can already start seeing the markings on this. CPU, it's an Intel Core i7-4770. So this is the one that this PC came with and it's a, it's a nice little CPU. I wouldn't, I wouldn't replace it for another one. Uh, I don't think this heatsink would be able to dissipate the heat good enough. So now let's do another application just to clean it off really good. On this one, you don't you don't wait too much. Uh, just waiting a few seconds on this one is good. So I'm already gonna start cleaning my heat sink, which I put this on. So I'll kind of just remove that. See, see all that? It's still on the heat sink. So <laughs> tore, but it's it's all good. Um, I'm okay with that. Now, let's go to our CPU and do the same thing. Kind of remove it out of there. See that? This one wasn't too bad. OK. 
Okay, that's good. Now, let's use our thermal surface purifier. Just put a couple of drops of that over here. One, two, three, four, five. And as I said, this is just alcohol. Do the same thing over here. This just kind of preps the, the surfaces. Gets away the dust and all that. So let's just get that going and let's clean it up. There you see, it's still coming out. So I guess I'll put another one on this one. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's just different ridges over there. So now let's do this one again. So overall, uh, that one is good. Let me let me put another one over here just to make sure because that did come out really dark. Okay, so the way we're going to be applying our, uh, where is it, our compound is we're going to prep the surfaces, we're going to tin them, or tint them, which is applying a small thin layer on each surface and spreading it out. So let's clean this off. Okay, yeah, that's way much better. So, there we go. And we'll, we'll blow this off later on so that none of these napkin shards are in there. So, that's good. Now, my, yep, yeah, they are both clean. So, let's just apply a good sized dab on there. So we can spread it over. That's good enough. So, see it's already tinted and uh, I got some on here, it wasn't that clean. That's okay. Uh, this, isn't, uh, this thermal paste is not conductive enough to do any damage and that's just a CPU bracket oh wrong one uh, so that's not gonna touch anything so now let's do the same thing over here kind of just put some on there that's good and uh, I'm okay with it it's really nice so now, let's look at a, so let me get my phone so we can look at the application guide. It tells us if uh, we should use a vertical line or a horizontal line, going from the bottom to the top or the side of the CPU, so let's see. Here, what I usually do is just go to Arctic, Silver, 5, Application. There we go. So, let's go to the instructions. It'll tell us what kind of CPU do you have? I have an Intel. Okay. Now I'm going to look for my i7. So it's not an extreme uh, second generation. No, uh, there we go. So it's a third through seventh generation Core i7 processor. So let's click on that vertical line. So now let's see what it's going to tell us. It's downloading. So we go to the application guide. Here you see. The, the CPU preparation, you have to tint the surfaces, the heat sink and the CPU, so there we go. So it's telling us it's going to be a vertical line. See that triangle over there? So from bottom to top, let's look for that triangle here. So here we see the triangle. Can zoom in on that or focus on that. See that triangle? So our, our vertical line is going to go from bottom to top and as you see on the application guide, it's not all the way from the bottom is kind of in the center. See that? So let's just apply that. And I think I'm done with this tube. So let's just 
and give a little application like that. Then line right there. That's good. So I'm guessing most of the components on this i7 are under the that side, the middle side of the CPU die, so that's what really matters. So the way I, the way I apply this is just kind of align the holes so you don't have to push it too much. There we go. Yep, that's good. And now just connect the fan header back in, clicks into place, and that was it. So it's pretty nice, simple. Now we'll just put everything back together and uh, just of note, if you bring the camera back over here, the motherboard, the coin cell battery is over here. So if you ever need to replace this, your computer's not turning on, whatever, it's right there. Just kind of pushing this tab back and it pops out. I'm not going to do it because I'll lose my motherboard settings, uh, which are very crucial for this thing to work. So now we'll just put everything back together and we'll be done with this computer. At this point, the computer was already put together and turned on and everything, and it works fine. Uh, the thermal paste on it is much better than what I used to have before. So obviously it's going to have some lower temperatures in the long run, and we'll see those on the next video when I do some performance tests on it. So keep tuned in for the next video so you can see how well this computer performs or how bad it does. It's a, it's a really, that's a nice computer. So hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I'll answer as soon as I can. And as always, see you in the next one.